Welcome back to Body Science. I'm Gary Brecca, human biologist, and today we're going to do a segment on human growth hormone. Now, human growth hormone may be one of the most controversial hormones on the planet. Is it the fountain of youth or is it the fountain of death? Is it great for building strength or does it eventually erode all of your joints and put you in a wheelchair? Um, is it one of the best things you can put in your body or is it your worst nightmare? I mean, depending on what bro science article that you read, you could find things all over the map. Where if you don't have human growth hormone, you're going to die. If you don't have human growth hormone, you know, your skin is going to look old, your hair is going to age. So let's peel back a couple of the layers of human growth hormone and talk about how we can get this wonderful hormone to safely work for us. So first of all, what is human growth hormone? Human growth hormone is a hormone it's secreted by our pituitary gland. It's right in the center of our brain. And when the pituitary gland secretes growth hormone, it goes out into your bloodstream and every single cell in our body has a receptor for human growth hormone. So what does that mean? That means that every single cell in our body is receptive to human growth hormone. It's a signal that tells that cell to get going. So for example, um, if we have active, youthful pituitary, we have generally very high, very wide, nice, long, strong pulses of growth hormone. In fact, one of the theories um, that the literature is pointing to now about hormones and aging is that our, our hormones don't decline because we're aging, is that we age because our hormones are declining. So there is an entire theory Genitive medicine, wellness now, that we are actually aging because of the precipitous decline in our hormones. Now, for men, that's testosterone. For women, it's all the hormones after uh, menopause. Um, but for all of us, well, for all human beings, it is the precipitous decline in human growth hormone. So, why not just take an injection of human growth hormone? Because we don't regulate how much of that hormone gets into our body and what it does to the rest of our system. Remember, Mother Nature gave us all the tools that we need to go through life, and enjoy ourselves, and, and, and to live, and to be healthy. And what we've done over time is we've wrecked that. Through diet, through lifestyle, um, through the way that we treat our bodies, through um, pharmaceuticals, uh, through um, um, preservatives, and all sorts of things in our diet. And so what's happened is we've exerted a negative effect on our hormones and they've exerted an accelerated effect on aging. So when we talk about rewinding the aging clock, when we talk about anti-aging or halting or potentially even reversing the aging process, a lot of times what we're referring to is normalizing our hormone profile. Bring our hormones back to a youthful level so that they can do all the things that they did for us in our youth now at whatever age we are, I'm 48 years old. I am on my journey to regain my youth, if you will. I would rather have um, youthful level, levels of hormones than a 48-year-old's level of hormone. So let's go back to growth hormone. So we know that the pituitary gland secretes human growth hormone into our system. We also know that about age 32 to 35, that, that hormone starts to precipitously decline. In fact, it starts accelerating its decline as we age. We lose that hormone faster as we get older. So what if we could slow that slope down or even stop that slope? What would some of the results be? Well, first of all, we have to talk about separating human growth hormone from our own individual pituitary growth hormone that is right inside of your body right now. So how do I, my body, to secrete my own growth hormone? How do I safely stimulate my pituitary gland to secrete my own growth hormone rather than go try to find growth hormone from a, an outside substance and it comes from Mexico, it comes from China, it comes from all kinds of weird places around the world. Um, and instead of putting that into my system, how do I find my own fountain of youth inside my own body, specifically inside my own brain? That's where we introduce to you the growth hormone peptide. A peptide, specifically, is a secret of Secretagog is something that goes to an organ and causes it to secrete whatever that organ is supposed to produce. So the 
pituitary gland, amongst other things, secretes growth hormone. So if I could go up to the pituitary gland and could say, hey, wake up, let's return this growth hormone secretion to a youthful level rather than the paltry little level of growth hormone you're secreting now. That's what a peptide does. So when you take that oral peptide, specifically the sermorlin GHRP2, when you take that specific peptide, which is a growth hormone releasing hormone combined with a growth hormone releasing peptide, you stimulate the pituitary gland to secrete your growth hormone. Not from a cow, not from a horse, not from a cadaver. Yes, they used to pull growth hormone out of dead people's pituitary glands and inject it into other human beings. We're talking about your growth hormone from your own body, from your own pituitary gland, stimulated inside your own brain. The pituitary gland is not capable, under normal circumstances, of poisoning you. So we have now a safe, reserve of human growth hormone. We just got to go tap into it. So when we take that peptide, it stays in your system for about 30 minutes. Yeah, that's it. 30 minutes. Circulates around in your bloodstream. It finds its way to the pituitary gland and it stimulates the pituitary gland to pulse growth hormone. So your little um, circadian, tiny little pulse of growth hormone that looked like that now looks like this. Amplitude and frequency increase. So now what does that mean? When your pituitary gland secretes more of your own growth hormone, what does that mean? That means that your cells, your body, that are susceptible to growth hormone, all wake up. They all come alive. The liver secretes IGF-1. The tissues in the, in the dermal layer of your skin, your collagen, um, starts to thicken. The dermal layer of your skin starts, starts to thicken. Um, it's often reported that people that, that are on peptides that have a high level of circulating growth hormone, their hair color returns to it helps with alopecia, which is male and female pattern baldness. It helps with the thickness and the youthful appearance of our skin. It helps mobilize and metabolize fat. Why? We talked about this in a different segment, but it helps increase fat cell receptor sensitivity. It heightens an activity called lipolysis, the splitting of fat cells. It causes something called muscle hyperplasia, which is where you actually have new tissue growth not just the swelling of an existing tissue, not just tearing and getting bigger, but actually tearing and replacing with new tissue growth, which is one of the reasons why there's really no such thing as professional bodybuilding without growth hormone, because they want new tissue growth. Now, sometimes performance enhancement seekers will take a dangerous route. We're not talking about that. We're talking about secreting our own natural growth hormone by stimulating our own factory inside of our own brain. So some of the cascade of effects tend to be slotted into these anti-aging definitions. Because if I tell you that you're going to lose fat, you're going to gain lean, more lean muscle tissue, you're going to deepen your sleep, um, you're going to increase your energy, uh, and you're going to thicken the dermal layer of your skin. Those are all things that are associated with youth. So if you want to look at it like the fountain of youth, you're welcome to look at it as the fountain of youth. But it's inside your own body. We're teaching you to tap into your own resource through science. It's not just about making you look better, making you feel better, making you act better or be, have more energy or be more youthful. It's about the science of making your body more efficient. And by more efficient, I mean the science of making your body more youthful. If I make you more youthful, everything else in your sphere becomes more youthful. Your mood more childlike, more youthful, more enamored, more happy, more outbound. Um, like I say, your, your sleep improves. I mean, any of you guys that have teenagers or young kids, how do those people sleep? They sleep, I, my, my son passes out on the back of our boat with his head next to the engine, right? And just conks out for hours, right? Comes home from football practice, can barely get up the steps, goes face down for four hours, come downstairs, sucks down a bowl of pasta and goes right back up and passes out for eight more hours. He's got a lot of growth hormone circulation. So we're talking about rewinding the aging clock, not by, um, not by taking something from the outside and putting it in, but by bringing something from the inside out. So if you want more information, click on the link below. Um, there's a lot more uh, definition of growth hormone peptides. Available. You've been listening to Gary Brecka of Streamline Medical Group. To learn more about Streamline Medical Group and their various services, please visit www.streamlinemedicalgroup.com.